again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to U-Boat. Today, we finally get to take our first look at this long-awaited submarine simulator for World War II. And if you're familiar with Wolfpack, which we played recently on the channel, then this will be very, very familiar to you. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here for this playthrough of the tutorial. If we get a lot of support on this episode, then I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the sandbox mode. So click or tap, blow up, torpedo that like button if you'd like to see more of the game, or if you're impressed at any moment, make sure you go ahead and show your support for the developers, too. This looks like a lot of fun. We're going to talk to the captain, climb on board, and then get underway right away. So let's do it. Officer Kolo. Get on board and prepare for the road. Our orders are on my desk. Make yourself familiar with them. Leave the baggage at your bunk. All right, we'll climb aboard then. As I mentioned before, if you uh, have seen us play Wolfpack, which is like a five-person multiplayer submarine simulator, then this will be very familiar to you, the same German U-boat in which we used in that game as well, even with the same logo. So I think this is U-96. I might be wrong on that, but you can correct me. We've got a lot of weaponry to take down Allied ships, including this, an 8.8-centimeter uh, deck gun. We've also got torpedoes, four in the front and one in the aft, and also some uh, depth, uh, I think decoys they call them. They call them depth something, depth decoys or something like that. So let's climb on board. We also have ourselves a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun, which I'm sure we'll be using at some point. So let's go ahead and get underway as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and find our bunk then. We'll have to climb down the ladders and... Uh, make our way down towards the uh, con. So if you uh, remember from Wolfpack, and if not, the uh, Germans used this here, the torpedo uh, computer, in order to fire the torpedoes. We also have our attack periscope, and we can actually drive from here too with the helmsman being able to sit here and be able to, I think, uh, perhaps order depth and also uh, telegraph back to the radio, or rather, uh, to the engine room via that command on what speed they want to go, depth, that type of thing, perhaps. I'm, sh I'm not sure, but this is basically where all the depth planes are and also the helmsman, and we can ham it up all we want on this side of the deck. We've also got a couple of different controls for uh, alarms and such. We've also got our depth control there. Uh, let's see, we've got our range finder, our pumps, our bilge pumps, uh, and also, let's see, let's take a look around the ship before we go. A lot of uh, crewman bunks here, a lot of people having their uh, meals and resting. It's really bananas, this whole place. Go ahead and take a look at the one bathroom we have, yep, yeah. and also there's storage space here, and also the galley, and uh, characters can get trapped, I guess, on each other if they're walking around. It's kind of, the only drawback to the game is that you kind of have to wait for people to move around, and up here we have our aft section for the uh, diesel, and the electric compressors, and also the torpedo launcher for the aft, and then also our electric engines, and uh, I think this is the diesel engine, too? Or so something for the diesel engine. Uh, all right, well, let's go and find our bunk, and then we'll go and find the orders for the captain, and we'll take a look around the ship a little bit more. It's kind of cool. You can sit down at these tables, too, and interact with characters, play cards, that type of thing, and uh, it's kind of neat. Also, the navigation area there. So let's go ahead and read our orders, set down our briefcase, and get underway. Skipper's desk. Orders. September 3rd, 1939, Berlin. Before noon on September 1st, the transport vessel Falcon left port in Edinburgh. We believe... Uh, we have information that the radar technology prototype has been loaded onto it. We have reason to believe that the ship was sunk in its original cor course in the North Sea as a, a result of sabotage. Your task is to find the wreckage, retrieve the equipment, and if possible, avoid being detected by British units. We cannot be linked to the sabotage or attempt to seize the radar. Activity is none. All right, let's head back then and set our briefcase down in our bunk, which is here. Officer's bunk. And there we go. All right, our first orders then are complete. Uh, camera perspectives. This is called the section view. It allows you to easily give orders to the crew and learn about the general conditions of the ship. The game is fully playable using either section view or FPP, so if you prefer to play using one of them, you will never be forced to use the other. The first mission will demonstrate the advantages of each of them, so you'll be able to decide for yourself which one you prefer. All right, very good. Officer, it's time to open the map and plot a course. The easiest way to do that is to press the M key on the keyboard or press the button in the upper right part port of the screen up there. All right, very good. Good, now let's set the ship's course by right mouse button on the target, easy. And then to add more points, hold shift. All right, that makes sense. So there's probably a whole path that we have to follow. And we know we're going to the North Sea, so let's find out where exactly that last marker is. Boy, it's far up north. Is that it right there? Beginnings. There we are. Add the fourth destination. Everything is complete. All right, it's time to start the engines. Click the highlighted button to show the telegraph. Yep, so this is what I was talking about before. And we'll go for Longs... What is Longs far? Forward two. All right. Excellent. So we are now underway. Fantastic. We are leaving port here in... Wow, this is really beautiful. In U-Boat, that is that is gorgeous, watching the front end just 
bow up and down like that. Let's speed things up. Turn on the time compression. Ah, yes, just like in cold waters, this game uses time compression too, so when you're moving between waypoints, you can do things a lot faster. Absolutely gorgeous. They did a really good job of detailing a harbor. Um, you know, it's kind of bare, as you would imagine, for a game where you're going to be at sea mostly, but not too bad at all. And uh, there's some significant buildings here and some warehouses, structures around. And it looks like we're going to go right through the locks here, out into the ocean. Fantastic. We will find that uh, ship very soon then, the Falcon. So we're going to have to salvage some radar equipment from that. So this is kind of a stealth mission right now. And we have stretched our legs out to sea. When you're in a friendly or neutral area, uh, there, there is also fast travel that becomes available. It's displayed next to the regular time compression. Click it rapid to rapidly move out of the current area. All right. Ah, perfect. Now we're moving on the overall map heading north. So as you can see, we have a lot of areas that we can operate in. Uh, we have the port of Kiel. We can move into the Baltic Sea, Bergen. We can go up to the Norwegian Sea through the English Channel. All the way down to, I think, the Bay of Biscay, too. If we look around, uh, we might be able to see more. Let me go ahead and uh, make sure we head it back up there. Uh, but let's go ahead and change that. There we go. And, yeah, take a look at Bay of Biscay. We've got the uh, western approaches. We've got also the areas around the UK that we can do. It's a perfect time for you to get familiar with the boat and prepare for what's to come. I prepared a list of things worth doing in the meantime. Send Kohler and assign him necessary tasks. Or if you prefer to play an FPP, click on him twice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and find him. Find and discipline solar, uh, sailors that do not do their duties. All right. Yeah, we're not dealing with soldiers. We're dealing with sailors. All right. Get up there, Kohler. He's reading the newspaper. All right, restock food in the galley is another objective. So some soldiers are on rest. And uh, let's go ahead and head up here then to the galley. And we'll restock that first, and then we'll find some troublemakers, which apparently is behind there. So these were uh, where we would open the ballasts here on the front. Looks like we can even command the light switches. So that's really cool. In Wolfpack, we're only able to see the front of the ship, but th in this game, we're actually able to see front and back. That's really bananas. Okay, remember that the galley runs out of food. The cook will take random food from the storage to prepare meals. Sometimes you may want to serve the crew a few good types. That'll boost discipline and recovery at the cost of faster consumption. I suggest you do exactly that for integration of the crew. All right, uh, let's see. You can manually transfer food through the backpack of your character, but there's a faster way. Click galley on the right. Ah, perfect. We just click and drag like that. Uh, drag exotic fruits from the storage. Yep, we did that. And 50 out of 50 kilograms. Excellent. Job done. Very good. Looks like there's an escape patch right here, too, from the top. Uh, that must be the one that's on the top of the deck. All right, looks like a couple of these soldiers, or sailors, I should say. Actually, they're technically engineers. Uh, one of them's an engineer, one of them's radioman. I suppose that's a better way to classify them because there's a lot of different things that they can do. For example, at the workshop, we can make replacement parts to repair some of these pieces of equipment if they become damaged. So all the sailors have a specialty that sometimes they won't be able to uh, do on the other one. So are you sleeping? Except his eyes are wide open. Oh, sleeping sailor. It looks like Conrad Otto decided to take a nap while on duty. We should react to such a blatant lack of discipline. What punishment? What? We're going to give a punishment? We'll be right for him. Oh, of course, an execution. Uh, Otto will be executed. Discipline grows by 25%. Wow, that's way too much. Arresting, toilet cleaning. Let's just give him a warning for now. That's, wow. A Kriegsmarine sailor is always allowed to be ashamed. This time you're off the hook. Get back to work. Yeah, exactly. Get back to work and get your face out of the ventilation. There you go. <laughs> Jeez, what a what a crazy game. All right, very cool. Lots of crewmen here. I wonder how many were in total on these ships. There must have been... I assume they were hot bunking it where, like, for example, this room holds eight people. So probably eight were working while eight were sleeping. I'm sure. There's a lot to do on a boat such as this. All right, we now need to reach the destination, so I suppose we'll speed up time. And our destination is, uh, where are we? Over here. So we just need to go about 450 kilometers to reach the final destination. Very cool. In the meantime, random events will happen, that kind of thing. Like we could see uh, maybe a target of opportunity, such as merchant ships traveling by or be detected by an enemy aircraft or perhaps an enemy uh, destroyer that is lingering around or a whole convoy of warships that we might more than likely want to uh, completely avoid, even though they're big targets. We're more of a mercenary, or rather a merchant ship harass operation is really what we're trying to do is like attack merchant ships, especially since it's 1939. As time goes on, the Allies will get much better equipment to deal with us, such as uh, airborne radar and uh, other types of more advanced sonar that they can really easily detect us, and such things as a hedgehog. And if you know what I'm talking about, we're not talking about Sanic. We're talking about something much more dangerous and uh, much more deadly to submarines. 
right, about 50 kilometers away. We're almost to our destination. Uh, I wonder if it says what time it is. Uh, let's see, 22.40 right now. So it's basically almost midnight now, or it's coming up on midnight. We've reached the area where, according to our intelligence, the Falcon wreck, sh wreck should be located. Keep your eyes open. We have to find it before the British. All right, well, let's continue to get closer uh, to the destination. All right, so we're about six kilometers out. We can actually fast travel even further. All right, and that green area around us is our line of sight at nighttime, so it's not too far. Considering that it's pretty dark, I suggest you turn on the searchlight mounted on the conning tower. I don't want... I don't think we'll be able to spot the wreck otherwise. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's return back to uh, get Kohler up. Come on, Hilbert. Let's go. All right, so we're going to head up onto the conning tower and see if we can... Uh, Turn on the searchlight, and then look around with the probably the binoculars. There are targeting binoculars on top, and I'll show you kind of where a few things go. So to the right of us is the attack periscope, as I mentioned before, and uh, somebody's coming down. And as we go up, you'll be able to see where it uh, is actually mounted. So right here, and I'll use the flashlight for now just to show you, that's where the attack periscope will come out of, and the observe periscope comes out, observation periscope comes out here, and then we can use the targeting site to locate uh, the ship. So let's turn on the... Uh, oh, it looks like we're able to spot it. Wow. Right right away we're able to spot it. Very good. Um, what? We're like sinking. That's weird. Yeah, well, We're actually surface, so that shouldn't be an effect. Let's go into manual mode and see if we can actually spot any of those uh, wreckage anywhere. Didn't look like I was able to find any, but let's go right for the wreck. Apparently it's over here. So let's get underway and fast travel over there again. There we go. And we should be right on top of it. Fantastic. Look at that. And these crates are important equipment we're looking for. Let's try to check some of them. One last... Uh, one, at a, oh, one thing at a time, though. Engines must be stopped so we won't pass the wreckage. Right, of course. Okay. So let's go ahead and stop then. We can now check the contents of the crates floating from the wreckage. We can activate all objects floating on the sea surface in the same way at the stations of the boat. It's easier to look for them in first-person perspective. All right, very good. So let's go down uh, to first-person and head down to the... Uh, Let's grab Hilbert here and grab, hop down to the deck. So let's leave this position. Uh, we should be able to use the ladder over here in order to climb down. And I think the crew, when it begins to rain, um, will actually equip uh, rain jackets and everything like that. So things can change based off of weather conditions. All right, so a thing that we can do now is grab some of this, wow, cargo. <laughs> Looks like the deck is a wash now rather than actually fully surfaced, but I guess this this must just be a graphical thing. Again, it is in early access, so anything that doesn't work or is a little incorrect, they're probably working to fix, such as that. It's just basically a graphical thing. Mmm, there's nothing worth our time in this box. Let's check two more. Are you kidding me? There's bacon, sir. Or how dare you? This man says there is nothing worth preserving on the deck. How dare he? He said no to bacon. All right, I think this might be where the, uh, uh, that might be the escape hatch for the kitchen, I believe. Or, well, I guess galley. Or maybe that's it there. I'm not sure exactly which side it's on. One of the two. All right, well, let's throw some bacon into the old, uh, oh, I can only hold 20 kilograms. Oh, let's just do it like this. There we go. Now oh, we can transfer it immediately this way, so let's put it back in the, oh, I can't do that. I guess I'll have to carry it with me. Where'd all the bacon go that I put in the storage? Storage room. I guess we can walk by. We'll walk by manually. Oh, there we go. It's back in the... There we go. Put it there. Transfer 20. There we go. I don't know where the other ones went. Oh, there it is in our backpack then. I guess I'll just have to carry some on board. Okay, let's put this back in the storage room. Transfer. Yes. Okay, good. Now I'm carrying some items too. Oh, he has to do it. Oh, he has to do it manually. Oh, that's annoying. Let's see if there's uh, some more stuff. All right, so that'll take up a bunch of time, so let's skip that. It's just basically some bacon. We can buy some stuff when we get back. So when things brought up onto the deck like this, it basically needs to be uh, put back under, under, uh, back onto, onto the uh, storage room. So we saw the mast of a warship on the horizon. It's definitely British. We need to hurry. All right, in this game, we, you won't be controlling just a single character, but all the officers. Officer Summer is in front of you. He's an officer like Kohler and will be a playable character from now on. Considering that we found the wreck, equip him in a diving suit and send him to the wreckage to explore. Okay, fair enough. So Summer is under our command now. Let's go ahead and give him... Which one is he? Is he this guy? Alright, let's go ahead and put him in a diving suit. Pop that on board. There we go. And send a diver. Okay. So now he needs to get on the deck and head down. Uh, on the bottom of the sea lies the wreck of the falcon what would you like to do skipper 
go to the wreck. Very good. All right, so we don't have uh, command of uh, Kohler anymore. It took it away for purposes of the tutorial. But basically, we're leaving all this bacon behind because otherwise you got to transport it one by one. And since we only have command of one troop, that'll take forever. So we'll say bye-bye to the bacon. If we could get a bunch of Fs in uh, the comment section for not only the bacon but also for the searchlight, that'd be great, guys. Appreciate that. All right, pull up the radar from the wreck. So we just need Kohler, or rather Summer, to go down there. There he goes in his little suit. And he should go underneath the water. There he goes. Perfect. All right, so it shouldn't find, it shouldn't take him too long to find that. And once we do, there we are. On the bottom of the sea lies the wreck of the Falcon. What do you want to do? Pull up the large wooden box. Very good. All right, transport the uh, radar to the main storage. Okay, so now we can go pick it up. So let's tell Kohler to go to the deck storage and transport the radar. Oh, I guess the bacon did make it in there to the storage room. All right, a little extra bacon then. Not all of it. You need all the bacon. That's how you win World War II. All right, so now he's transporting the radio to the storage room, or the radar equipment, rather, to the storage room. All right, new objective now, to meet the captain. Very good. So it's nice that you can play the game in both first person and that kind of exterior section uh, mode. That's going to be really cool. There's other games coming out, too, by the way, called, like, uh, Aircraft Carrier Survival. That's similar to this. And also HMS, which is Her Majesty's Ship, which also gives you that cross-section management mode. But I don't know if they have first person, so this would be unique if you're able to do that. But imagine first person on an aircraft carrier, or even more so, a battleship. I can't believe there's not a battleship simulator yet. Could you imagine you and 64 friends just uh, going around in a battleship? Crazy. All right, we now need to meet with the captain. I think he's up here on the deck. Uh, there he is. He's kind of just having a cigarette. Captain, everything's complete, sir. Hi there. Oh, Adam Newman. Skipper, you need to see this immediately. Really? We're having this meeting out here? <laughs> the destroyer's... Skipper, the destroyer's readying its battle stations. Oh, there's a destroyer nearby. Damn, they've declared war on us. Oh, no. Cut the rope with the diver. What? We're leaving... Cut cut out summer or weird. All done. Oh, no. We have to leave a sailor behind. Well, now we definitely need some Fs down below in the comments section. Oh, boy. All right. Sorry, Summer. Time to go. I never really liked him anyway. Yeah, what? Just kidding. I have no idea who he is. All right. Cutting the rope. And... Done. Sorry, Summer. A sailor died. Oh, boy. Well, there you go. Flood the ballast tanks and dive. All right. Off the deck. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Schneller, schneller. Yeah, we're going. We're going. <laughs> Wait, what? It put me back down. Go back up. There we go. All right. Now we're going to dive with that uh, destroyer on its way. We need to get immediately under the deck. Come on there. It's so weird to aim at the ladder. There we go. All right, we got to dive and get out of here. That destroyer is coming for us. Also, I hope somebody shut the... Yeah, it's probably fine. Oh, wait, somebody's coming down. Okay, they'll close it. All right, prepare to dive. Okay, flooding the tanks. And we're going down. That's the way to do it in this game. They will shoot us like ducks on the water. Surface to 50 meters. Okay. Or rather, uh, go below the f surface. Yeah, if we're on the surface, we don't want to dive. Dive to 50 meters, not surface, noob. There we go. Where's 50? Alarm! No, that's Alarm close enough. Tauchen. Crash dive, go! We left the search line on, that's another problem. Oh well. It's alright, the game didn't tell us to turn it off or anything. And it's kind of more important to just get underwater as soon as possible. I wonder if it's automatic. Alright, switching to electric motors. Oh yeah, it looks like it turned off automatically. Cool. Never mind, it is completely on. <laughs> Ooh, blue lighting, very nice. All right, escape from the destroyer is our next objective. So everybody's at their uh, battle stations. Periscope coming down. Uh, that's pretty funny about that light, isn't it? Yeah, we need the headlights on. We're nighttime driving, so we don't want to get pulled over. Is the engines working? Can't really hear the uh, engines go. Okay, he's uh, entering rest mode now. Okay, so I suppose to escape, all we need to do is dive. I guess you can go and do what you want, Kohler. We just need to dive to 50 meters and continue at uh, whatever speed we're going at. Uh-oh. Ship propellers directly above us. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh! Uh-oh, depth charges. Oh, no. 
The hull has been breached. Fast. Press the space button on the keyboard. Okay. In such a situation, always stop the game and carefully plan what to do as each second matters. At this time, there are two leaks on board. One is serious, but the second is smaller and won't be dangerous until we dive to a greater depth. I don't see any way to save the aft compartment. Move the camera to the aft part of the boat and click the highlighted evacuation button. Okay. We got to evacuate. Evacuate. Uh, right there. There we go. While Kohler takes care of closing the compartment, send Engineer Felix West for replacement parts to the storage room. All right, West, we got to grab some stuff from the storage room now. This is way more important than any light. Let's go grab... Where's the storage room? Oh, West, go to the storage room. Uh, wait a minute. There should be a different way to go to a storage room. Let's try... Oh, there's the storage. It's on the other side. Okay, we need replacement parts. So those are necessary. Transfer all those, sir. Yes. Everything is ready. You can unpause the game now. Okay. All right, everyone's evacuating. They've been told to evacuate. Ship propellers are above us still. Looks like the destroyer might be leaving after hitting us with depth charges. We've been hit. All right. Escape from the destroyer is still our current objective. Very good. West took the replacement parts and he can do the repairs. Select him in order to repair the leak of the evacuation hatch in the galley. All right, so that's what we need to repair. Go ahead and repair that. Now select Kohler and turn on the pump to pump out the water from the leak. All right, the pump is here. Okay, good. Go, boys, go, go. All right, pump is active. Kohler's doing the repairs. The pump can pump out the water from all compartments on board, but because of the resistance to the pipes, it is efficient to do this from the central compartment. Although there is no need now, at deeper depths you'll be forced... You may be forced to carry water with buckets to the central compartment to pump it outside. Okay. Roger that. All right, Felix West is starting repairs on the evacuation hatch. Very good. Kohler has flipped on the uh, evac uh, the uh, the pump for water. Look, at everybody's just kind of like hanging out. Hey, Thaler. Oh, okay. Oh boy, that room is completely flooding, and we're on the bottom. Oh, oh, the keel has touched the bottom. Oh no. Well, good thing we got our hazards on. I don't want to get rear-ended. Uh oh, this room has taken some severe damage from the flooding. All right, nothing we can do. Luckily, the compartments are closed off. Felix, speed up time. All right, he's finishing repairs on the evacuation hatch. That's going to be necessary. I guess that's where the first leak was. Blow the ballast and surface is our next objective. Okay, do it. Go ahead and surface. Very good. They almost run like the Sims. Blow the tanks. Oh, very good. We are surfacing. Air reserves are low. All right, we're going to have to hit that light as soon as we get up top. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. We've used most of our com uh, compressed air reserves for emergency blowing, but we have to use the air compressor to regenerate them, but it's located in the flooded compartment. It's time to dry the stern compartment. Open the bulkhead leading to it and start repairs. Remember to repair the hole at the top of the hull first. After that, take the air compressor and turn it on. Okay. Well, first of all, Kohler, why don't you go ahead and head up here. One more thing. Before you open the bulkhead, I suggest you equip the engineer with an oxygen mask from the storage room. Without it, he won't be able to perform ev uh, eventual repairs under the water surface in the compartment. That's actually misleading because that uh, that oxygen thing is not located in storage. It's actually located in a different compartment. So let's take control of West. If you go to the storage room... West is just sleeping. Well, fair enough. He just finished some welding. If you go to the storage room, it won't be located there. You have to go to the storage cabinet. So that's misleading. There's the air compressor. Or the air filter. What is it? A breathing apparatus. All right, there you go. Okay, so now let's go back and do those repairs. He should have the other materials on board. We'll f worry about the light later. It is an on-rails tutorial, so there's not too much to worry about. All right, now we can open this room. Boys, it's about to get a little wet, so uh, get ready for fun. Oh, boy, there comes the water. Woo! It's pouring in. All right, repair the hole in the pressure hull. All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and get that ready. And start repairing. All right, that's going to take a second or two. In the meantime, Kohler, let's get you up, man. Oh, there we go. And let's go up top and uh, undo that light, because otherwise my OCD is going to explode, just like the uh, pressure of the hull. All right, looks like everybody's getting out for some fresh air, too. Uh, in this situation, I think most of the sailors would go to the front of the ship also because all the weight is in the back with all that water. And we probably want to level the ship a little bit so that we, we don't keep sinking once the repair is complete. Uh, looks like we can't climb down, okay. But we can turn off the light. Good. All right, finally. All right, let's go back to uh, take a look now at the ship. Or the boat, I guess. Looking good. Nice. Luckily, we didn't get hit by the destroyer aside from the... Uh, the uh, depth charges. At least we didn't get hit by the destroyer's main guns. That would have been worse. Alright, let's speed up time. 
Excellent work. Okay, now let's see. Uh, replacement part will be consumed for the repair of... What do we need to repair? The engines, electric engines and air compressor. Uh, I suppose we will repair that one then. Alright, let's speed up time. Repairs are almost complete then. 25 XP. Very good. Two, two things remaining. As we wait now, we could be attacked by uh, aircraft or another destroyer or something. Device repaired. I don't know what that means. We haven't. Oh, I guess it's repaired, but not fully operational. I guess we'll bring it up to full operating order. The next thing is the engines, and that's probably going to require him to have the oxygen mask to get underneath the uh, engine there. That's not necessarily the diesel. Oh, it's the electric engine. Never mind. Diesel compressor is what I was thinking of. All right, almost done. Almost done. And, oh wow, I think that blue bar might be his XP, so he should get some more XP for doing that. Excellent, and that means that means that he'll be a faster uh, repair uh, engineer in the future. Is he an engineer, technically? Yeah. And then you can see what everybody's doing. So one's repair, one's rest. All right, there we go. Electric engine. Are you repairing that, my man? Oh, he is. Oh wow, that's going to take a while. That's going to take a long time to repair that electric engine. Meanwhile, I think we should just come to a stop. I don't think we need to move any any further now. Renew air reserves is the next task. Let's get Kohler back up. And that means to flip on the compressor now. So let's get that going. You go turn that on while West is repairing. And he's almost done. Kohler is coming back to turn that on. Very nice. I guess the blue light makes it... Of course, the red, the light should actually be red. But it does make it a little easier to see, I guess, when it's blue. So I guess if, if there was red, it might be a little more difficult to see the people inside the ship. And of course, you'll be playing this primarily at night. Especially when you're attacking. Alright, repairs have been completed. Renew air reserves. Is there a way to see how our air is? Uh, let's see. Rudder. I don't think there's actually any way to see, but... Maybe there is. I don't, I don't see anything yet. All right, well, air reserves are renewing. I wonder if we can have both the electric and diesel compressor on at the same time. I guess we can. I don't know if that increases things twice as fast or if it's just the same. All right. So air reserves are coming back online. I guess the only way to tell would be to go to... Uh, let's check the uh, pumps here. I don't know if that's compressed air. I'm not actually seeing these going up. Shoot down the aircraft. What, we got an incoming aircraft? All right. We got an alert. Red alert. Oh, man. They're shooting at us. <laughs> Red alert. All right. Get up top. All right. Very good. Alarm! Auf All right. I'm on, I'm on the AA gun. Manual mode. Where are they at? Where is it? Is that him? No, that's a flare. Uh-oh. They must have spotted us. Alright, we gotta wait for the plane. There he is. We're only gonna get him if he heads over the top of us. This 20mm is not really that great of an anti-aircraft gun. Oh, he's the one shooting flares. Okay, let's wait till he comes closer. There he is. I don't know what kind of plane that is. I don't think I can hit him, really. Oh, did I get him? He's gone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? D is he gone? I think we got him. Maybe not. Maybe he uh, bailed off and went a different direction. All right, let's leave Kohler on the AA gun on automatic. Shoot down the aircraft's our next goal. All right, let's have Wes turn off the pumps. All right, go ahead, West. Kohler's still on the MG. According to this, that's what's called the MG C-30. Detection. Oh. Where's that aircraft? Oh, they got lights on us. Reload. Get him, baby. Oh, we definitely hit him. He's flying over the top of us with spotlights. Damn, that's not easy to hit a moving target like that on the uh, ocean. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's no way to hit him. He's gonna have to come back. Alright, we scored some hits on him. Oh, here he goes again. Yeah, he's gonna have to fly over the top of us with that light on. Yeah, lead the shot all you want, but it's not gonna help with this thing bouncing around like that. Wow. Alright, let's see if he comes back around. Oh, he disappears like that. What's going on with that? Anyway, let's get West to turn off the remaining pump. Over here, West. Schnell. Okay, all the pumps are off. Oh, man. What? You're such a bad shot, dude. There we go, I got him. Hmm, that aircraft too fl uh, too fl uh, fast after our boat was detected by the destroyer. There has to be an aircraft carrier nearby. All right, we got him. There's a hydrophone mounted on your boat. If the aircraft carrier is moving, we may be able to detect it. Select Adam Newman, our radio officer, and assign him to listening room at the hydrophone. All right, at least I was a little better shot than the AI, that's for sure. All right, aircraft down. Wonderful. Uh, okay, let's select Newman now. All right, Newman, let's get you on to the radio room, which is right here. Listening post there, sir. And we'll have to obviously submerge for that to happen. Uh, remember that in order to detect anything with the current GHG hydrophone, you need to f uh, first submerge to at least some depth. Send any free officer to the valves in the control room. All right, let's hop off that Kohler and let's head down. Uh, we're going to need you to get down and start diving. Let's dive to uh, 50 meters. And we're dead stop. Alarm! Alarm tauchen! All right, let's get down. All right, aircraft destroyed. Good job. It's out there somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's the burning wreck over here somewhere. I can see just a little bit of flame. Obviously, the ocean probably swallowed it up already. You can almost see it a little bit over there. All right, we're flooding tanks. We're preparing to submerge. All right, looks like we were able to escape the uh, British destroyer. That's good. Is everyone submerged? Okay, everything looks good. All right, Adam. Oh, is he searching? Uh, manual mode not available in the demo. Okay, so we'll just have to submerge and see how it works ourselves. There we go. She's beginning to dive. Excellent. Switch to electric engines. Yep. Let's make sure we're on electric motor. And let's go. Is there, how slow can we go? Uh, oh, it looks like there's only like forward and reverse. We can't go too slow. Well, let's at least roll forward a little bit. Alright, boys, good news. It worked. The radio men clearly heard the propeller of a larger vessel not far from here. Turn on the map and right-click the mouse button on the aircraft carrier group to set course to it. Alright, so we found the aircraft carrier up here. It uh, took a little fiddling, but it actually worked. Now send any officer to the valves to surface again. Long-distance travels underwater are definitely slower and less economical. The fast travel mode is not available at that time. Alright, roger that. Okay, let's get, uh, not west, but uh, let's get, uh, let's see, Kohler to hop up and grab those valves. Let's go ahead and surface. Uh, is everything paused? Nobody's working. Shouldn't be paused. Come on over to the valves, my man. Let's get surfaced. Okay. Excellent work. All right, so it took two man on there. You actually had to click here to add another seam into it in order to, uh, in order to get it to detect it, but it didn't say anything about that. So we're going to need all the torpedoes to get such a prize. Select our engineer, West, and have him load a torpedo in one of the free launchers. All Got right. Time to get up, West. Let's go ahead and uh, load some torpedoes, baby. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Tanks unblasen. All right, blow the tanks. Let's surface. All right, now, where is the uh, front of the ship? Over here. Perfect. All right, up, 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 up. We're going to need to load torpedoes. Hey, wake up, wake up. Door. Come on, boys. We're going to load some torpedoes here. All right, uh, let's see. So we need to load all torpedoes. So tube two, tube, tube one. Oh, that's our uh, third one. Pr what is that? Preheating removes the chance for dud torpedo. Oh, I see. Oh, these are steam propelled and electric. Uh, let's go ahead and just try a, uh, let's see, warm up torpedoes. I think we might want to. I'm going to try a uh, steam propelled one. Let's see how that works. T1s and T2s. Let's actually put another T2 in there just so they're all the same. 
Is it your order to carry a G7E torpedo? Yes. Alright, los, los, schneller. That's right. Let's load these damn torpedoes. Let's go, boys. Alright, let's see how this works. This is going to be the coolest part of the game. Oh, yeah, look at that. All the bunks have to fold up. That's how it's done. Alright, now he's arming the torpedo and getting the last one loaded. Those are some big boys. Damn, that's crazy. Alright, that's going to take him a minute or two to load those things up. Let's speed up time in the meantime. Up, boys. We're going to be loading a couple of torpedoes. Alright, Felix is going to take a little bit of time. In the meantime, let's see where we're at. Looks like it's going to take a long distance to get there. Let's go ahead and make sure we're proceeding with the uh, diesel up, engines. There we are. Okay. There he goes. He's prepped and armed the torpedo. Sliding her into the tube. Yeah, nice. All good. Tube 4 loaded. Excellent. All right, that's good to go. Attack the carrier is the next goal. And we are on the surface. Just about out of range of the torpedo, or rather of the carrier. All right, good. Wow, this has been really cool so far. Now we just got to go... I can't believe the hydrophone was able to listen to that. Look at that. That's like half the, the distance of the southern coast of Norway. That's crazy. Okay, so now we just need to approach the carrier group. That's 10 to 24 different ships. Are you kidding me? That's insanity. All right, let's continue to push forward. All right, we're almost there, closing in. We just got about 70 kilometers to go. All right, attack the carrier is our goal. All right, I hope when we get within the area, it'll slow us down and tell us what to do next. There we go. All right, we're entering battle now with the aircraft carrier in the North Sea. We are in the area where we detected the aircraft carrier earlier. Visibility is very low. Send Kohler to the conning tower to target the site so he can help look for the enemy. Considering the U-boat surface are harder to spot than the average ship, night and bad weather will work for us and allow us to get close to the enemy without detection. Very good. All right, let's send Kohler then to the, uh, to the tower. So I know what we have to do here. We have to send him... Oh my goodness. Wow, it is like nearly impossible to see. Uh, that is incredible. That is very difficult to see. They should really... I know they want to make it dark for uh, immersion purposes, but also to play the thing. Jeez. All right, the tower where we want to go is right there. Is that it? We want him to head to the... Not to Stefan Keller, but we want him to go to right where he's standing. There should be a thing up there. Let's just go ahead and do it manually. Let's hop up and we'll go do it that way. It's almost impossible to see. So I guess this is better for first person. Okay, so torpedoes are loaded. We are ready to rock. I want to see crewmen wearing, uh... I want to see crewmen wearing the rain outfits, rain gear. Yeah, nice. Everybody's got their rain gear on. All right, he's coming down. Okay, targeting sight. There we go. All right, we'll put him on automatic for now. All right, attack the carrier is the goal. So now we just got to find the thing. So we'll speed up time. Boy, look at us just bumping around like that. All right, getting closer. Let's see if we can see anything now with... Oh. Let's see. Just a lot of waves out there. If it's anywhere, it's probably going to be right on our nose. I don't see anything yet. All right. Let's continue to go. Speed up time a little bit more. Want to bring her within the line of sight. There, we have it. We've spotted the aircraft carrier. It has separated from the escort, probably because of the fog. It's a good moment to attack. In similar situations, remember to keep your boat at right distance and stay undetected. Click the highlighted button to choose uh, first forward gear for the engines. All right. Very good. We're slowing down. Excellent. Good. Let's start targeting process. Select Officer Kohler. All right. In the upper left part of the screen, you'll see a list of targets spotted by the officer. Click the right mouse button on the aircraft carrier to start the targeting process. That will make the officer focus on the target bearings and, uh, for the target. For example, looking for new instead of Torpedo looking for new targets. All right, yeah, go ahead and start targeting. So now he's aiming and getting ready to, to fire. Oh, very good. And we'll be able to fire whenever he's completed the uh, process. So it's going to take a little while to do the mathematics. All right, we're still in one gear. We're following everything the torpedo or the uh, tutorial is telling us to fire the torpedo. We're two kilometers out. All right, let's see from Kohler's position. Actually, I don't want to do anything. 
Kohler has a good bearing on our target. It's a good time to fire. Select Officer Kohler and then click the left mouse button on the aircraft carrier on the list. All right. Kohler. Uh, left mouse button on the aircraft carrier. Now click the highlighted button to open the torpedo interface. Uh, where is that? Highlighted button for the torpedo interface. Uh, oh, is that the front of the tor... Oh, no. No, we're not going to fire from there. Click the highlighted button to open the torpedo interface. Let's go back to Kohler. Click here. Now click the highlighted button. Where is that button? Button, button, who's got the button? It's none of these. Work. He's working the Uzio. Torpedo launchers? Is that what you want me to do? That's not highlighted, but it would make sense. Preheating. Okay, we don't, yeah, we don't want to preheat. Click the highlighted button to open the torpedo interface. Oh, boy. Open the storage room? No. Kohler. Wait, he's giving the command to open the storage room. Don't do that, my man. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. All right. Now click the highlighted button to open the torpedo selection. Ah, there it is now, at the bottom. Launch a torpedo at this target. That's what we're looking for. All right, so unknown, illustrious class aircraft carrier. Actually, was that a real name of... It's, that's not the class, is it? All right, three, two, one. Fire. Very good. Now click on all launchers sequentially to flood them. Oh, I guess that we have to do a little bit more. Nice. Flood tube one. Flood tube two. Flood tube three. Flood tube four. I'm assuming that's the fire button then. All right, now we'll just stand by. Tube one flooded. All launchers are flooded and good to go. Fire! All right, now we can fire. Fire! Los! Los! All right, tube one is fired. Tube two is away. Tube three and four are about ready to fire. Excellent. All tubes have shot. Wow, that's way easier than Wolfpack, at least. All right. We'll see if we can see the carrier from here. I wonder if we can target it. Let's take a look at it. Visually detected. We have a visual bearing on the vessel. Sonar. The vessel is using a sonar. Generate camera. Oh, center camera on the vessel. There she is. That's our target, boys. Oh, man. We're about to hit it. That's an awfully big carrier. Oh, man. Plot an interception course to the vessel. Oh, there's some very good advanced options now that we're only learning about just now. The tutorial has you a little on rails, so... All right. Let's see what happens. Wow, look at the guns on the side. That thing is pretty heavily armed. Torpedo covered half distance. All right, we're almost there. I wonder what side we're going to hit. Any second now. Here it goes. About ready to hit. 40 seconds to impact. All right. Come on, baby. This is going to be epic. We are way far away from this. Good thing they can't see us. Right. Come on now. 20 seconds. Come on. Come on. Here we go. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Impact. Now. Uh-oh. It's a miss. You told me to fire that way. Oh, there we go. Must be scheduled like that to do it. Minimal damage. Ah, uh, it's all scripted, that's why. Well, that wasn't a miss. Those two exploded. Oh, damn! Serious damage. Whoa! All right, never mind. Maybe we didn't miss so much. That was at least three or four hits. Unless those were secondary explosions. Oh, she is going down. 
She's listing. Escape from the escort. Oh, I want to see it sink. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, damn. It's actually falling apart. Oh, she's going down quickly. Damn. The ringing of the alarm bells and the escort can be heard. It's only a matter of time before they detect us. One of uh, send one of the uh, officers to the valves and uh, flood the ballast tanks. That's hilarious. The ship actually started to repair. The <laughs> the mast is coming back up top. British tank is like a uh, uh, British uh, ship is reassembling like uh, the T uh, two thousand or one thousand from Terminator Two. That is epic, baby. All right, let's leave this view. Let's get back to it. All right, Kohler, let's go. Get off this position. Head back down. Let's let's flood these tanks. Let's get out of here. Damn right. Wow. I th it said like multiple misses, except then there was a, the same amount of hits as there were misses. So it's like uh, we fired four. I at least saw three hit. So we have certainly did a good job. Took down a damn carrier. Especially since it's all automatic. But all right, here we go. Flood those tanks. Let's get out of here. Now press the highlighted button and set the tar target depth to 180 meters. That means we got to back out. 180 meters. Ooh, we got to go deep. We're going deep. 200 meters. 200? No, I, cl I clicked 180, but all right. 200 meters. There we are. Order any officer to turn off the gyro compass. Uh, its use is rather limited while escaping underwater. Okay. Uh, West, do you want to do that? Where is the compass? Cannot be used on the surface. Depth steer station. Where is that thing? Gyro compass. There it is. All right, turn that thing off. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but all right. I mean, I don't know why we have to turn it off. Okay, boys. Uh, switching to electric is automatic, so we won't need to worry about that. Flooding the tanks has begun. All right, we got to escape the escort now. Damn, what a hit. What a hit. All right, escape from the escort. Gyro compass offline. So now I can't use this mode, I see. Okay, so it won't tell us where we are. Dangerous depth. Well, you told me to go to 180. I think we should go south. Away. Go away from this place. All right, and what's our uh, speed set to? Forward one. Let's double time. Now, let's get out of here. What does this mean? Dangerous depth. Our ship is currently at a depth. Poses some danger. Uh... To parts exposed to external pressure. Okay. Okay, what's our depth? 180, good. Heading at 9 kilometers, good. Or, well, knots in this case. Well, actually, it says kilometers per hour. Should be knots. Oh, well, doesn't matter. All right. Wow, all we see is a black screen. Gyro compass offline, so we won't be able to use that mode. Okay. Uh oh, they're searching for us. I can hear the pinging. What does the hydrophone detect? Just the aircraft carrier? Okay. All right, now we just need to escape from the escort. All right, time will flow faster if we go to this mode. We're sitting on the bottom of the ocean. The keel is literally at the bottom. This is what I was told to do. <laughs> so I'm just following orders. Why are you going to 200? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 200 meter. Damn, that happens sometimes where they won't adjust the, uh... The crew won't follow the damn adjustments like they're told. You idiots. Alright. Yeah, they were, they were told in the commands to, uh... Oh, damn it. Torpedo loading hatch has been damaged. West, we need you. All right, they weren't following orders to uh, go to 180. Bulkhead flooding. Okay, we repaired that before. On with the pumps. Kohler, let's go. Actually, I think it's on. Oh, bilge pump. Oh, I see. It brings everything to here, and then it exports it. The end. Unfortunately, we have to stop here. You'll be able to learn about the further fate of the crew in one of the upcoming updates. If you wish to keep playing, we suggest you choose Sandbox Mode from the main menu. After completing the tutorial, you should be ready for challenges managing your submarine on your own. We hope you enjoyed the game. Remember to port all the suggestions for improvement encountered. Thanks for your time, Deepwater Studio. Oh, I see. So we're supposed to sink. It's, it's kind of scripted.
because it says here uh, you'll be able to learn the fate of the crew. Okay, so basically we're supposed to sink, everything's flooding, it's one of those dramatic endings. Very good, I like that, that was a lot of fun. Very, very good. The tutorial was pretty easy to follow, a little bit more practice. I think we'll be able to uh, really do some damage in this game. All right, everyone, well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me for U-Boat. If you want to see more of this game, make sure you click or tap that like button. That was a lot of fun. And I think if I do another second run, we're going to get some real big kills. So if you want to see sandbox mode again, remember to click or tap that like button. I'd love to do some live streams of this, too. So if you'd like to join me, make sure you click the notification bell, too, so whenever a new video goes up, you can see it. I will see you all very soon. This was a lot of fun, so thank you very much for joining me. I think the uh, game will improve. There was a few glitches and such that I had to go back to uh, kind of correct. But other than that, a pretty good game. So thank you very much for watching. It was very fun, as a game should be. And I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.